Mark, how things settled down since uh, that good win on Tuesday night? Yeah, lads been out there on the training ground today uh, just to, to freshen themselves up and uh, you know preparation start for Saturday. You know. Saturday, Northwest Derby against Rochdale, who've had a very good first part of the season. Yeah, they have. Um, you know, Keith Hill's gone in there, done an excellent job. I think um, I think quite a few people expected when he got the job that he would turn around their fortunes, and he's done just that. So, you know, we've got a tough game. They've shown in recent weeks that they produce some really good results, and we'll have to be at our best. At your best, but no doubt with some good backing from the Cod Army. Yeah, I think we'll take uh, you know good numbers um, with it being a local fixture. We, we normally take good support anyway, so uh, it, it's a bit closer for them and hopefully we can get behind the team and cheer us on to victory. You started the last couple of games, uh, how are you feeling uh, with your own uh, match fitness? Yeah, I feel good. Um, you know, I've been frustrating when I'm not in the team, but it's the sa same goes for any player that isn't playing, that, that you know, they're desperate to pull on a shirt. And I've been trying to keep myself as uh, match fit as possible, you know, with what I've been doing on the training pitch and what I've been doing in the gym. but. You know, nothing beats first team action and uh, I've been really enjoying you know, playing alongside Pondy and, uh, in, and really enjoying the games. And that back line of course, Conor McLaughlin, uh, just talk us through that goal and uh, you know, what you thought when it went in. Um, sh well, shock, surprise, um, but on a serious note he's, he's got that ability, um, he does show that on the training ground, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll help him out a bit there and, and say that, um, but what a fantastic strike. Um, you know, I said at the time it was worthy of winning, winning any game, but the fact that it's took us into a final uh, made it all the sweeter. And that final, uh, Northern Area final against Chesterfield, it is a good achievement at this stage of the season. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, it's the first achievement that this probably squad has, has achieved together. Um, it's a final that you know we want to go and win because it means we get through to another final. But um, a notable achievement because the fact we've had to beat four. League One clubs and, and decent sides, you know, to get there. And the le level of performance has shown in all those um, games what we're capable of. Um, we're fully, fully deserved, um, been worthy winners on every occasion. And you know, we've got to then now take that into the league, concentrate over the next few weeks, and push ourselves back up the table. It's not just the league that's busy with fixtures as well. A third competition, the FA Cup, and the replay next week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, um, we want. We said at the start of the season we wanted to. To be um, winning on all fronts, and I, th I think that's shown that um, if you can combine that cup competition and league form, you just want to win as many games. And it does mean we're going to have more fixtures, and it does mean we're going to have more games to look forward to. But I think that's exactly what we've got to do. We've got to look forward, and you know, when you're winning, um, you just can't wait for your next game. And we've got to take that into the league form now. And it doesn't matter what competition you're in, a win's a win, and it, it gives you the confidence going to that next match. Oh, exactly. When you when you win the game, you you want to play, uh, you know, the very next day, and um, you want to keep that momentum going, and, and that's what we're trying to build. Um, momentum's going to be very important in the second half of the season when this sort of promotion mix-up really takes shape. At the moment, it's tight, it's it's really close, and it changes from week to week. But if we can get that level of consistency in in the winning that we're showing in the league, um, then it's going to help us uh, moving forwards. Okay, Mark, thank you very much. Cheers, Doug.